This is a 2017 Harley Davidson Ultra. And this is the motorcycle that ruined motorcycles for everybody. And what do I mean by that? I'm gonna get to that in one moment. The Harley Davidson Ultra, or what they called it when it came out back in 1989, which had the longest name ever, Harley Davidson Electric Glide Ultra Classic, is the motorcycle that ruined motorcycles for guys that always have an excuse who own a motorcycle, but always have an excuse of why they're not riding their motorcycle. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Oh, I can't ride, my back hurts. The most comfortable seat you've ever seen and the best ergonomics of probably any motorcycle. I just, you know, it's too windy, too much wind hitting me today. I don't want to deal with that. You got a front fairing. You also have this little thing that changes, that pops up and down to give you more or less wind that you can change it while you're riding. I don't know if I'm going to go riding today. I really wanted to watch the game. You don't have to watch the game. You can listen to the game on your awesome stereo system. Well, but it's too cold to be out riding today. You know what I mean? It's not, it's less than 50 degrees. That's not a problem. You got lower fairings that, that, that block the wind from hitting you. This blocks the wind from hitting you. You could also add a heated seat and heated grips. There's no excuse. Well, I'll just drive my car because I gotta go home. I gotta bring my briefcase to work or I gotta, I gotta grab groceries when I come back. Plenty of room in, this, in, the, in, the, in the side bags and tons of room in the tour pack. You can put gallons and gallons. You can fit so many bananas in here, it'll blow your mind away. Well, I'm not able to ride today because my wife wants to do something together, so we're gonna go shopping. You could put your wife on the back of your motorcycle and go shopping. And the best thing about it is, there's a limited amount of space that she can fill up the, you know, sorry, we can't buy that. We don't have enough space in the vehicle that we drove. You could also communicate with your significant other through the comm system. If your excuse is, I want some more peace and quiet, unplug the comm system. This bike has everything you could possibly want. Not only did the Ultra take away all your excuses of why you don't want to ride, it actually gives you excuses to want to jump on the bike. This is the Milwaukee 8. It's 107 cubic inches, 91 horsepower, and 111 foot-pounds of torque. It's the first Harley Davidson engine to have four valves per cylinder, two cylinders. That's why they call it the Milwaukee 8, I think. I recently got a chance to talk to uh, one of the technicians about these Milwaukee 8s after I was doing some modifications on my 08 CVO 110, and they said this Milwaukee 8 can produce humongous amounts of power. The engine, it's a very beefy engine. It's got the whole thing is just beefed up without even putting a turbo on it or anything, big modifications. They can be pushing over 140, 150 uh, foot-pounds of torque with these things and 150 horsepower. It's insane how much more potential the Milwaukee 8 have than any other Harley-Davidson motor they've ever made. The suspension has also been upgraded from the previous model and it also has linked Brembo brakes and ABS as standard. So when you grab the front brake, it's also doing a little bit of the rear brake. So this bike is faster, more comfortable than before, handles better and stops better. Now, despite what all the Harley guys are always saying about how they love that their Harley vibrates, the, new, the newer Harley engines always end up being smoother and smoother and smoother, and people tend to like it. Now, when this bike came out brand new, it came in a couple different colors. The cheapest color being their Vivid Black at around $24,000. The next color was silver at around $800 more. And the other colors, including this one, Velocity Red Sun Glow, was around a thousand dollar upgrade. Now you can look at this bike all you want, and you can look at the specs all you want, but to really, really appreciate these Harley Davidson Ultras, you gotta do one thing. Take it for a spin, let's do it. All right guys, before we do the test drive, let's do the words of wisdom, Proverbs 22, six. Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. I'm working on that right now. Got children. Trying to train them up to be good, God-fearing, loving kids. Well, adults. Hope, hopefully they become adults. All right, let's touch up this bike. Ooh, I'm smooth. i smooth putting that thing in drive. Putting that thing in first gear, man, no clunk. Like I said before, Harleys just keep on getting smoother. And, oh, this is a little goofy. This guy who drove this must have had like, he must have drove with like Pumas on or sandals because I can't even get my foot underneath the uh, the shifter. 
So it's really hard not to love the Harley Davidson Ultra Classic. It, 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 it just it is it is and probably will forever be, and has been for the past you know two decades, just been three decades. It's just been a staple in the motorcycle cruising touring community. You know, is it? This is the bike that the other bikes compete with and try to be like, and and it's always going to be compared to in price and performance and and style and comfort and just everything. This was the same bike that Dennis Rodman drove. Not this exact same bike, but the Ultra Classic um, in the, 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 the new show on Netflix. What's it called? Last Dance. If you guys didn't notice that, but he does. He drives away, he's driving a Harley Davidson Ultra Classic for good reason. Because these are great bikes. Like I said before, they continue to get smoother. When you when you when you stop, the mirrors are not vibrating so much that you can't see through them. And these things are just nice bikes. Check this thing out. This you got a vent right here. You got a little vent inside there. Instead of having it on the windshield, you pop that open. Get that fresh air hitting your chest, hitting your face. Killer! Does it's a great idea. So you, you so you get the best of both worlds over here. And same thing. The vents are open. Uh, down here, I'm getting tons of air getting blown onto my uh, my shins. Now, I know a lot of people think that these Harley Davidson, they're just big old man bikes, but it's just not true. Yeah, old men like awesome stuff. They've been, they were young men one time and they liked awesome stuff and then they started to refine their taste and now they know what they like and they know what kind of riding they want to do. If you're doing a big trip, you have to. It, it's a tr it's a travesty. Tragedy? Tra Did I just connect two words? Yeah, I don't know. It's a tragedy if you are not considering the Ultra Classic. I don't think they call it the Classic anymore. They just call it the Ultra now. So many miles are on this thing. 18,000 miles. So not only are these motorcycles comfortable, and they are incredibly comfortable for you and the person behind you. Um, the big old soft seats, the way the ergonomics are, where my my feet are at a nice 90 degree. It's just it's just like you're sitting on a sitting on a lazy boy at your house. They are very comfortable. The way uh, the way the stock handlebars are, where my hands just that's exactly where my hands would be resting. It's just it's just perfect. So not only are these bikes comfortable, they're getting 45 miles to the gallon, so they're economical, somewhere around a five five gallon fuel tank but they also handle well. These things handle great. It, it, people, all right, people are gonna complain about stuff. It's, it's, it's all what you're comparing it to. But it's not like driving a chopper. You know, this bike can handle pretty well. You can really cut it into the corners. Chances are, if you're riding this, the, limitate, the limiting factor of the handling of this motorcycle is not the motorcycle, it's probably you. And to be honest with you, that's the case with most motorcycles except for like choppers and raked out bikes and then they're just you're just fighting it you're just fighting trying to get those things into a corner now one of the coolest features that's been on harley davidson's for a long time like since the uh as far as i know like the 2000s so for almost 20 years is the cruise control now i know you think that cruise control that's dumb that's just a, just a gimmick you don't really need it that's not true cruise control is awesome it is one of the coolest features and it's one of those things that you don't know you need it until you need it or you don't know you need it or how much you loved it until you have it. Oh, let's do zero to 60. It's a great zero to 60 bike. Ha ha ha! Go! That was fun. That was fun. That back end just started spinning and kicked out a little bit. So not only are these bikes awesome, Doing back roads, doing country road, just riding wherever. The Ultra Classic, the, the, the Ultra, the Harley Davidson Ultra is made for the highway. Now, personally, I wear a, I wear a full face helmet. So the, the size of this windshield is not ideal. I would prefer either a shorter street glide windshield or a taller windshield because I get like a, what I call buffeting, buffering, you know, it's kind of, all the wind is coming up here and hitting the top of my head, so it kind of shakes me. 
if I was a little bit shorter, or if I was outside of it, would be better. But that's just me, and it's also a simple fix of changing out the windshield. Now a backrest, you put a nice backrest on this thing, put your tunes on, set that sucker to five miles an hour, maybe six, maybe seven, above the speed limit, and then just cruise anywhere you want to go in the country and live that live that luxury life but you're still outside you're still you know you still got the sun on you when when you hit a cold spot you still feel it you know except you don't feel it as bad it, it becomes you know when motorcycling gets a little rough this takes the edge off it makes it a little bit better and the best about motorcycling you still you just have more of it now you pop that thing open you got a little spot that you put your phone you see it's like it's uh it's grooved in there you can wedge your phone in there so your phone's not going to bounce around and get all messed up and it's got a usb plug in there so you can actually control your phone and your music and take calls all through all through the buttons right here it's pretty cool now with this uh with this 107 and 111 foot pounds of torque you don't even need to drop a gear I'm in, I think I'm in top gear. Am I in top? Yeah, I'm in top gear. I'm in top gear. All you gotta do is just lightly roll on the throttle. You can pass people if you want to. The way they have all the gauges and the radio and stuff like that, you don't have to reach out and do it. You can do everything from your hands. You bring the thing back home, scroll down, go to media. You can go to the radio, change your volume. You can change it to, you go to the menu and it's all right there it's all set it, it, it takes a little bit of a learning curve just to figure out what everything does but um there's only a couple buttons once you figure it out it's very simple cruise control is easy to, to to get on with also press the info button over here you got air temperature oil pressure uh eitms i don't know what that even is all the main stats that you need to know so they did this instead of a limit so they eliminated a bunch of different gauges keep everything simple just press a little button. Why not give you the information digitally anyway? What's nice about riding a big bike like the uh, like the Ultra is you're not you're not as intimidated by cars. You're half the size. You're 900 pounds. You see a little Miata. You know what I mean. You're bigger than it. You start getting a little air, getting nudging them, bumping into them, and laughing at it. You know what I mean? <laughs> these bikes are great. They are big bikes. They don't feel like big bikes. I, I've, I've ridden bigger. In your hands, they don't feel very heavy. And once they're moving, they feel they feel extremely light and very nimble. 